everybody, Mary Mitchell here. Uh, in my last video, I asked you to please subscribe, and I want to thank the person, the one person who did subscribe. I don't know who you are because it didn't uh, tell me in my in my uh, mail, but whoever you are, thank you. I appreciate it. So now I'm up to 329, so I will ask you again, anyone else out there, if you are, if you get anything out of this or any of, uh, you know, information that you need from any of the other 72 or 73 videos I have out there ranging from all kinds of topics, um, acrylic pouring, resin, framing, dust cover, I mean, you name it, I, I have so much out there. I hope you can get something out of it. And if you do, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. So after I, I just want to give you an update. Um, I stopped painting the wings because after I got a good look at what I had, you know, the painting, I, I did mention that I might want to um, add more to it and add more wings and at some point later down the road, perhaps more silver leaf somewhere in the wings. I don't know. Uh, but for now, I, I needed to build those wing, these wings up. So what I did is I took various sizes of palette knives, um, you know, larger ones, the larger ones, and of course, you know, working my way down to the appropriate size. And I made this uh, this whole thing of much more ro much more robust. I made the feathers larger, wider, more of them. Uh, to give it a more powerful look. It didn't look, it didn't look like it could carry an angel when I saw it, quite frankly. That's just my opinion always. But, uh, so I stopped and I, um, and I redid, uh, I redid this and didn't redo it, but I added to it. I enhanced it. I made it what you see now as compared to what it was. So I began on the left side as well. Now I, re I did record some of this and I, uh, but not the whole thing because I, ba I basically, I just wanted you to see how I manipulate the, the palette knives to, um, to show you how I create these feathers. And, but there's no sense in you watching me do the entire thing once you get the gist of it. And once, if you decide to take this up some point, you're gonna, you're gonna, do you, you're gonna have your own style of doing it. Uh, this is just mine, um, and it's um, it's all rel relative to the subject that you're doing as well. But so I'm gonna go forth. I'm going to say um, say stay tuned. This is this is a series. It's it's a it's a it's a piece that's uh, got a lot to it. So it's gonna it's gonna take a, a few more videos. So stay tuned. Um, the next one that you see, I'll be finished with this, and then in a couple days, I will be painting it. And, uh, and then from there, I think it should move along pretty, pretty quickly from there. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Just watch what I do. You don't need me to talk through this whole thing and you know, explain every little thing that I'm doing. I think at this point, it's uh, pretty self-evident, and you, you, can, you can obviously see what I'm doing. And I'm pointing to where I'm going to be making changes. I'm pointing to perhaps feathers that I'm going to end up combining and uh, it just things like that. So you can see what I'm doing as I, as I work along here. And um, the other thing is I'm not even going to put this to music. You're going to get glorious silence as you, as you hopefully that you watch this because um, uh, the uh, no, I'm an owner of this uh, the app that I used to create these. Uh, you know, I'm a subscriber, so I'm technically allowed to use their soundtracks. But 99.9% out of the time, I have an issue with copyright restrictions because I guess they don't know that I'm a licensed subscriber. So I always have to put this claim in. A yada yada yada. Not that you need to know that, but. You're going to notice me, if you haven't already, and you are a subscriber, that I use, I basically have stopped using their music. I either try to walk walk you through this, uh, and then I think even going forward, I know a lot of times I turn the music off, so, because I'm, I want to concentrate on what the artist is doing. So, having said that, I would like to tell you to have a great day. Uh, enjoy this. If you get anything out of it, please uh, let me know.
and uh, leave it in the comments and um, uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. Stay well. I just want to make mention that although you don't see me work my way out all the way, you know, all the way out to the other side or or even see me work on the other side, that is because I just wanted you to pay attention mainly to, as I said, how I'm working the palette knife. So what I'll do is I'll take some modeling paste, lay it down according to the size of the feather that I want. Uh, just put, um, you know, a, a piece down, a, a strip down, I, I'm not sure, a smear down. And then what I do is I go over it with a, uh, a either a different palette knife or the same palette knife, and I press on either side so that I get that raised center that feathers have. Uh, and that's how I just wanted to point that out because this video is not inclusive of everything, uh, of all the feathers, but, but basically me uh, showing you the method of how I created them. Okay, so here it is in its entirety. 
The left side looks like almost like it has a little a little more detail than the right side. It does not. It's um it's only because I had painted that left side and I didn't cover up all the paint. So, you know, some of that gray is still in there. And uh, by the time I get done painting the whole thing uniformly, it will, it's going to look really good. I'm, I'm very excited about that, uh, getting to that um, part of this project piece. And um, so onward, have a great day, everyone. And thank you for staying tuned. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.